We're heading into Shannonville, Mohawk, uh, Tyendinaga Mohawk Territory in Ontario. Do a video for Rich TV Live. Uh, and the community, show them the future, a glimpse into the future of what the legal market could be if Health Canada got out of the way and let them do their thing. You guys could be making money like the free market here. And I'll kind of show you how it's just growing and thriving. It wasn't $5 grams, $100 ounces. It was about $50, probably a quarter for the first year. But just like the legal market, after a year, people dropped $5 grams. Most places started as little dispensaries like that, little shacks. Now they're turning in, actually that one is over there just because they're building this, brand new, two places. But Rich was right about the $5 grams. The first place to get $5 grams was this little shitbox trailer. And it blew up and now they have this can of cure. It was the first place to put $5 grams a year into all these dispensaries have been open. And you'd see $5 grams, $100 ounces. They have drive throughs at two of these places. But that little shack, that's gonna be their new one. And there's their gas station they're putting. They'll just keep making so much money. They're opening gas stations, expanding, growing. But Rich is right about the $5 grams, $100 ounces. It really 10 x this community, it blew up. Brought people by and coming in just to try a $5 gram. Get an edible. Now that's just one there. There's this Better Buds. They're probably, you can get $50 ounces here. And they have hundreds, like probably 200 strains, but it's really uh, a $5 gram place there because they have about 30, 40 different $5 grams. There's Bee Leaf here with a free flow petroleum. Yeah, gas is like 92 cents. I'll turn into this pot shop here. So yeah, this place uh, started as a little shack, $5,000 trailer. They got a uh, $100,000 signs, LEDs. It's actually good in the summer. They got the slushies, slushy machines and all that stuff. But then they expanded to this place. They have their own radio station, plays old school hip hop and uh, advertises. But yeah, the pot shop, it all started with this little place. They sell thousands and thousands of clones in the spring. But yeah, you can see they got things strain specific, $5 pre-rolls, CBD, 20% Charlotte's Web available. And they're pretty smart business people here. Uh, I'll show you the next one that's coming. I think it might be the Indigenous Roots Corp. He's building a new one that, uh, it was a Kronos actually funded them. Uh, Kronos got involved with them. Here's the new one native flower it's a beautiful place it looks just like the any winery wine tasting VQA place no that one's called native flower there's a uh, smoke on the water that's got a lounge pool tables everything but the indigenous roots is something maybe to look into the stock I think it's IRCC indigenous roots court uh, Kronos bought a big stake in them and Kronos even said we're going with the native people because they don't have to deal with all the Health Canada crap and get to market way sooner. That's Kronos, not just me saying it. And they're smart business people out here. They're not just growing ditch weed and selling it for five bucks and stuff. It's uh, like they're doing so well. Like I'm always at the racetrack here just as a little story while I turn up here to another one. The one fella who's always at the track, he went up to Toronto to buy a McLaren. He went up to Fat McLaren, bought a McLaren cash, $280,000. And like, they're indigenous, they don't have to pay tax, right? But, they, the shipping and all that stuff is another crazy fee to get something drop shipped over here. So by him being on native land and getting his uh, McLaren drop shipped here, saved him $78,000 in cash. And by the way, uh, McLaren had to go to FAF, here's Field of Dreams, or had to go to Ferrari to get a second money counter. And you can see how large Field of Dreams is. It's just growing, and they just built this even larger place here. It's almost done. I'll turn around, another $100,000 sign. But it started, it was actually, see that little shack on the end? It started that big, they built 
the one across the street here built that one they got all the crazy signs they're allowed to advertise don't have to deal with all the health canada crap and it's a uh, field of dreams that new one there opened up and there's keep expanding he's got a couple of them see i was saying they're smart business people like i was saying the one guy who bought the mclaren broke the money machine at faf they had to go to get another one from ferrari it's just kind of funny thing but see they can advertise their signs i don't know if this camera will pick it up but Rich was right about the $5 grams. These places are blowing up, but it's not all $5 grams. I know you can't sell for more than $10 a gram. That's You have to max your top stuff at $10. Their low stuff at around $4.20 a gram, pun intended. And then they're in the game. They only got to work about quality and get rid of Health Canada rules and all that crap. Because this community is booming. It used to be so poor. Like, so, so poor. Like tar shacks, shit, shit shacks, the cars, res rides look like demolition derby cars. I'm not even joking. Like they were poor, and in five years, every road's getting repaved. I'm going up on this is the last road to get repaved. They're out cleaning the streets. It's the cleanest place that you've ever seen, and it just keeps getting better and better. There's, they actually built schools and community centers. And it's such a great thing that uh, it keeps growing and it's just proof that the legal, there, there's potential in it once the health canna gets out of the way, <clears throat> they can do it. But I'll show you that $5 a gram isn't everything, <coughs> pardon me. The uh, 2.0 stuff's big, the place I'm going to now is fully integrated. Uh, Legacy 420 does everything from seeds, uh, growing, they have farms, indoor, outdoor production, they have uh, like uh, cookie factories, like whole bakery, commercial bakeries. There's a little another one, uh, Forever Green. There's about 60, 70 dispensaries on the land. I'm just on this little quarter mile stretch, but 420, I'll show you that the, uh, it's not everything. Then right beside it, there's Peacemaker across the street. There's herbal something or other, herbal healing there. Peacemaker, but 420, I'll show you because they have everything and I'll show you they don't I think their cheapest gram is they have hundred dollar ounces, but their cheapest gram is uh, seven bucks So I'll go in I'll show you how that they make their money a lot of the 2.0 because it's so vertically integrated They make everything themselves in-house And uh, I'll go in I'll shut it off try to shoot another video just inside for y'all